What's up, everybody? Jay Barry Act. Today, we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 8, a.k.a. the Season 1 finale of Fallout, the series entitled The Beginning. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Daily content, if there's a day, there is a reaction. Links in the description box down below. Patreon, Twitch stream, everything in between. All eight episodes are on Patreon, uncut, unedited, if you want to watch that way. Uh, you can enjoy some of the more low moments, some of the more just like, what the fuck's going on? And even sometimes I do one of these. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Uh, sorry it took so long to finish this up. That's on me. Like I said, house, cats. My job is just every day is like, oh, you do good? Here's more work. So it's a real hoot and a half. But uh, finally able to catch up on it. I'll have this edited in the next couple of days, so fear not there. And uh, we'll have it. We'll have it all up. I'll plan some Sundays to uh, stack this and some other things and, and get them gone. So, without further ado, we have. Oh boy, that's supposed to be Titus Esquire, a ghoul. Now, we got Maximus about to face the Brotherhood. I don't know who had the head there at the end. I can't remember. I don't know if Oh boy took it with him or he had it. Oh, he had the head. Because they had the big kiss moment. It seems like our main character, Lucy, is going back to Vault 33, who just split most of their people over to Vault 32. The Overseer of 31 told little Buddy, asking if Betty was compromised. So now he's in Vault 31. The ghoul is... We're still getting closer and closer to seeing what him and his wife split and like how he's not in the vault, even though he was the poster boy for the vault. Uh, he got his, his earpiece in, and his, we see his love for dogs and why he likes dog meat that he has dubbed. So we got dog meat's origin story. And we got all of those things coming together after all of the, the Ravagers were killed to rat poisoning. Uh, so we're going to see what's up with Betty, what the main wrap-up here is. Will the ghoul live? Will he get a peaceful, somber death? Will Lucy be able to get back to 33 or to find her dad? She has to go find her dad, not go back to 33. She may be able to find her dad or Moldaver. We have to have all those confrontations and all those things wrap up in one way, shape, form or fashion so we have an hour of television here it looks like it's going to wrap up at about 58 seconds or 58 minutes or so and we're just gonna hop right into it i got nothing i just imagine she finds her mom she's gotta be still alive and her dad that's how fallout works so let's go ahead and put jerry behind the scenes thank you guys for hanging out for eight episodes of fallout even though it was spread out Pretty, pretty far. And let's watch. I'd be mad as fuck sitting there, bro. Just. Oh, he's staring at boys. Oh. Find me. I don't think, I don't think he's going to get the chance. Oh, he might, he might break free. I mean that, yeah, so the head's the only thing that he has that's going to be able to keep him alive, potentially. Just as you lie. The artifact ain't there, baby brother, brother. You better stop him. He was the only one there for you. Build one with me. This is your chance, man. My man's head is not aging gracefully. Good job. You did it. I think it's funny to know her, her jacket's still been unzipped when they were doing that ritual. Fuck is that thing? That's another ghoul man, shul man. Oh, is, she, is that one of the ones that he released? Mm, shit's about to go well, down for him, ride. dude. Oh, it's the least I could do. Strange. The transmitter is always activated. Well, maybe take it over to the boys in IC. You have them take a look. No, no, I can fix it myself. I just need to figure out where the pit boy is trying to transmit to. I'm, I'm heading out. Uh, no. Oh, no. Well, I call it Buds Buds. The but basic idea is that the biggest obstacle to achievement has been the brevity of the human lifespan. It's prevented us from uh, working on projects that require centuries. Maybe so he wants to create yeah, ghouls. Oh, yes. Let's go. So he's in the... Yeah. Oh, bro, I thought she was walking over because... Oh, my God damn, that's a nice car. Buds. Oh, like, you know it's got to happen, but it's so fucking cringy, brother. I hate it. All out. That's my favorite one of the openings. I just want to put that out in the open. Oh, you got a feast of a feast. Oh, 
Join us. It's my turn to host, isn't it? I'm gonna keep things civil. I just want my pops back, bro. You can have his head. Put that shit right in their food. Friend. Just like he asked. About, now tell me what this shit is, son. First, what if I tell you how I know your father? Expedition. Yeah, give me the 411 then. No, Lucy. Don't listen to You me. think your father was born in a vault? Sand dweller. They came from up top, bro, like Vault 4, son. Had a brain? What are you? Initiate protocol 53. Execute all that 66, bro. That little fucker can ah, kick the shit at you, bro. No, I'm sorry. Just hold still. Who are you? Wait, 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 wait. I won't answer your questions unless you let me inject you with this. <laughs> all right. Don't move. I ain't never met no fucking brain in the tank, bro, unless it was in Futurama. So I don't know what even is happening. Or turn on the light. Love my pay grade. Henry. Like, Hank? Like her father? That's not going to be it, right? I know they're, they're, they're building to, like, reveals and things, but, like, I'm so, like, listening and locked into the fucking, that little room man i just want to i just want to stay there for a moment even though it's the most like non fallout thing but it's before the fallout thing so like you have to have you know the before to have the after i just want to stay in that room there it is they always got people in fucking refrigerators and everything else dog my button. america outsourced the survival of this country to the private sector but it would have been insane to keep a failed nation alive so we kept Vault Tech alive instead. A well trained. Henry. The future of humanity comes down to one word management. Man, that's the most American thing I've ever heard in my life. has an idea for three interconnected vaults where you can play out your own ideas for how to create the perfect conditions for humanity. Whatever you want to do. Like individual no monopolies. And may the best idea win. That's so fucking shitty. The game of vaults. So which vault control three just keep the beat control? Wow. When you put it like that, sounds downright morally questionable. Superman. So people fucked up, dude. People who make lemonade. It's so fucked. Fucked. T results. Why dropping the bomb ourselves? Wipe them out. All of them. Hashtag divorce, bro. Let her go. Mr. Howard? Let her go. Everything all right, Mr. Howard? Uh, fine. I'm, 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 I'm fine, Betty. He is so excited. Oh shit, that's crazy. I don't even know if she said that when she first like came in and talked to him or anything, but him saying it just now, I'm like, Betty been around for a minute. Good to meet you. Yep, and that's her daddy, daddy, baby. A nuclear event would be a tragedy, but also an opportunity. Oh. Perhaps the greatest opportunity in history. Oh, I could fucking because when throw we up. Are the only ones left? There will be no one to fight. A true monopoly. What I say, Mr. monopoly. Huge fan. I'm Henry, but uh, everyone calls me Hank. Yeah, I know, bro. Wow. The de aging's rough, but that's all right. Your father has been around for a very long time. What about her mom, bro? Part of an organization that thought they had the answers to all the world's problems. Back! And war. War never changes. War never changes. Roll credits! <laughs> On the whole fucking thing, bro. Guy, but you said you could give me an autograph. What do you know about my mother? 
She was kind, loving, partly to rescue her father, but to know why I took him. Are you her mother? Hey, dude, I ain't gonna lie to you. I really don't even give a fuck about uh, Maximus here, bro. Y'all made that shit kind of... It's not irrelevant because he's gonna go save her in that situation, but... Life debt right there. Yep. A vault. It's a place that's peaceful and safe. And nobody ever goes to war. What? Maggots, clear out! I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't hear maggots for a second, and I was like, hey, there's nowhere safe, wait. And there's no leaving. Your mother discovered that something was siphoning the vault's water away. From that one clue, she deduced that maybe. I said maybe. Return to the surface. That's crazy. Big brain plays only. When she told her husband, he said it was a ridiculous idea and that she should tell no one. Lucy, let's go. Let's go. And that's when she realized that her husband, the overseer, was hiding things. Lucy, let's go. He's not let's the man go. he told so me he was. Away. Like you did, Lucy. And he burned that city to the ground. Hank, you ain't nothing but a goddamn dog, bro. I turn around, like, all right, well, it's good seeing you, Dad. She's lying. Oh, damn, you remember that shit, don't you? Lucy. Bro, that's crazy. What you brought me is cold fusion. It's limitless energy. Unlimited and energy. Our own world. It's a double turn. Has she clean water and medicine and power, home. but for everyone. Lucy. Because when she fought her oh. own world, Lucy. Hold up, I gotta go back what to that scene for a second. So they were in Shady Sand. That's why she remembers the shit, the railroad tracks and everything. They were rebuilding on the actual fucking surface, bro. Nah, fuck you, bro. No. Nope. nope. Hell no. Hell nah, bro. Tough titties at the kitty, bro. I nope. Absolutely not. Is it true, Papa? My mother. What happened to her? You done killed his mom, bro. What? <laughs> oh, that is fucked up. That's fucked. Oh my god. Give her the code, Dad. Two, four, four, one. Thirty-one, thirty-three. Three, one, two. Two, thirteen. They, they hate the competition, bro. Vault tech, bitch. I wouldn't have guessed that shit. That is insanity. That dude. But how did the scientists know all of this stuff? Did did he have some resources with like Moldaver and everything? Like how did he know? That's the wildest goddamn part. Cause he injected that shit in his brain noggin. But first tested it on the dog. Vault tick. Oh, and it's. And the attention to detail and the fact that this is shaped like a nuke. You motherfuckers, bro. Crazy. I mean, his whole world just got shattered. He's learning the same time his sister's learning. 
Still a lot about it, dude. You never told nobody. You were supposed to be their their leader, bro. That was crazy. Well, I used to wear one back in the day. There was only one problem with it. It was a flaw. Flaw right in that motherfucker, well, brother, brother. Just below the chest plate. I wonder if they fix that in this new model. That'd be a big old negative ghost rider. Nope. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, just keep firing in the dark, bro. Let's go. I don't know how I feel about you, bro. Like I'm I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted about you and everything you stand for. It's not necessarily a bad thing either. That is the that is just fucked up. It was him. What? It was him. What was him? He dropped the bombs. Lucy, what? Scared of competition, bro. Brother survived in a fucking the milk refrigerator, just like uh, I think I already said this joke before. Just like Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. Ooga booga booga. Now his punk bitch ass done got up in the goddamn armor. Hashtag eye roll emoji. Lucy, you're coming with me. I'm pretty sure he's fucking dead, so, uh, GG's. Max, 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 wake up. Don't shake him, that boy got a dislocated fucking C2, C3, C4. Ooh. You want another autograph, young Henry? <laughs> he's the coldest motherfucker, bro. The coldest. Oh, damn. Feo, fuerte, y famo. Your daughter said her last name was McLean, Will. I just couldn't believe that it was the McLean. Hell, this kid used to pick up my wife's dry cleaner. Now, I've waited over 200 years to ask somebody one question. Where is my fucking family? What vault, bro? Tell me. Give me a number. Would you quit shaking his ass? You ain't doing nothing but making it worse. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. That's all he wants. Dead. That's all he wants to know the whole time is where his family was. What vault? I. Where did he end up taking his daughter? You know what I'm saying? I need. I need to answer that. Come on. Come on. War never changes. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. And that's who I want to talk to. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking blame you. That's where your daddy is headed. But you let him go. Well, it's easier to track a stuck pig than to ask it where it's off to. You want to know how I know your daddy, don't you? Let's just say that everything about your whole little world was decided over 200 years ago. Now, you could stay here with him, 
But when his tin can soldier friends take this place, and they gonna take this place, they will kill you and everybody here. I need to go ahead and put her fucking mom out of her misery. God, no! I turn around 360 wide wide no scope. Nah, she pointing at her mother. Yep. Did the right thing. Did the right thing, Luce. Teamwork makes a dream work, baby. Yeah, hey, he gonna wake up in one of them special riding saddles that they made for Bron back in Game of Thrones, so don't worry. We'll get you back in a suit of armor. Have you, like, uh... Rhodey. James Rhodes. War Machine. Almost. I tried to say Don Cheadle, then I was gonna say, uh... Fucking... Terrence Howard, too many jokes all at once. Hurt my brain. Hurt my brain, buddy. And just like a Fallout game, bro, it's now time for you to get up and you gotta go find Lucy and she gotta go find her dad again and he gotta go find his family. Everybody's gotta find fucking somebody. There goes the power, dude. I know she hears your big soggy footsteps. I'd grab one of them fucking Blueberries right there. Cranberries, raisin it. Ugh, raisins are nasty. She don't even know nobody's in that room with her. Oh, imagine seeing that shit for the first time in a long time. What do you suppose your brotherhood would do with infinite power? Maybe you can stop them. Maybe you can't. Maybe all you can do is try. Oh, she fading. Yeah. I've been swounded. She didn't even have the fucking energy to, yeah, gone. At least she didn't go like, oh, girl in the dark night. Rises. That's the skull of a motherfucking death claw, meth claw. Is that Seattle? Is it the space space station? That, that felt like the space station. Hey. GG's. Bidip up 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 up. GG's. War. Dot dot dot. War ellipses is the final blurb for Fallout. Eight episodes up. Eight episodes down. The first thing I want to do as we, we wrap this up is I just want to look at the... Uh, I want to look at the episode ratings for, for Fallout. I know it had, what, 17... Emmy nominations, is that correct? And let me just click on Prime Video. Just reset the whole thing here. 17 Emmy nominations, bro. That that's that's crazy. I feel like somewhere on here on IMDb it has the awards that they've won. So, won one primetime Emmy, four wins, and 32 total fucking nominations, dude. 2023 winner. That seems not right, but all right. Was nominated for Outstanding Drama, Outstanding Lead Actor for Walton Groggins, Outstanding 
writing, outstanding production, outstanding picture editing, picture editing, outstanding sound editing, outstanding stunt, outstanding period, outstanding prosthetic makeup, outstanding sound and mixing, outstanding visual effects, outstanding fantasy, outstanding main title design. It was a winner for outstanding music supervision and nominated for outstanding stunt coordination. So it won one Emmy, which is pretty dope out of all of its nominations. And then for episode rankings, we're going to go for episode one to eight. This is just out of scale of one to 10. This has nothing to do with my personal ratings or your personal ratings. It's just what people collectively uh, put in their things. And this is just the average score. So 8.2, 8.1, 7.9, 8.4 for the midway point. 8.0, 8.3, 8.3, and then 8.9. I do agree that the finale was the best episode. The Ghouls episode 1.4 was also really, really good. I think 1.6 was a little lacking, even though it had some good flashbacks. I don't think it's difficult to say that the ghoul was the best character in the entire thing. I think he was the best character for me, at least. Uh, I feel like he's the best written character. I think Maximus is not poorly written at times. I just don't feel like I'm invested as much in his story as I was everybody else's that was set up. I mean, I was almost a little more like invested in Betty's story about where she was going to go than some of the other things. So it, it, we get nothing of Thaddeus at the end with him being a ghoul and, and running off. I mean, we can even look at Cooper Howard, right? We can look at the ghoul, the cowboy, and talk about in this time frame, like he's a movie star where in today's day and age, 2024, 2023, and, you know, just the past decade or so, we don't really have movie stars anymore. Like, there's not like, oh my God. Like, obviously, if I'm on the street and I see Hugh Jackman or Ryan Reynolds, I'd be like, oh shit, there they go. But it's not the level of, if you take some icons uh, in, in their prime, like a like a John Wayne, or, I mean, I think at one point, Denzel was like a movie, movie star, right? You look at the... Like me growing up, like Angelina Jolie at some point was like, I just picture people getting mugged by paparazzi. There's so many more examples I feel like I could give that I'm I'm now drawing blanks on. But if you look at like pop music, like you look at a Michael Jackson or a Prince, like we don't really have stars like that anymore. Like people would faint seeing Michael Jackson or faint seeing the Beatles. Some of those movie stars, people would have a panic attack to see, but I think now that all those fields and all those areas are so oversaturated and there's so many people that like, while yes, these are movie stars, like I'm not, no offense, I'm not rushing to go meet Walton Goggins or Ella Prunell or, or Zach Cherry or Leslie Ugama, if I'm saying her name, Ugams, Ugams, if I'm saying that correctly. Like, I'm not going to rush to go see him. Like, I rushed to go see Jason David Frank before he passed because that was the fucking Green Ranger, right? That's the White Ranger, the Red Ranger, the Black Ranger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've went and rushed to meet voice actors, but there's no real actor, like, movie star I would go see. I'm saying all that to bring it back around to, in this universe, Walter Goggins is, like, the star. Like, he's the John Wayne. Like, he's, hey, this is me. He's the Elvis He's like the fucking action movie star. And then to take him and all of this tragedy, I don't think is, I mean, they talked about the alimony and stuff, but I'm curious now when the first bombs dropped, where did he end up with his, with his daughter? You know? So it says, likely in a cryo chamber waiting out the apocalypse, looking for his family, is either frozen in Vault 31 or another vault. Like, Okay, here we go. I want some answers to this before I start talking about the show. Do I have to click this first? Why is it not loading? There we go. Why did Cooper have his daughter with him when the bombs fell? A lot of people are suggesting that Vault Tech didn't drop the bombs. But then why were the managers in Vault 31 already in cryostasis if the bombs hadn't been planned by the company, right? So if it was planned, 
why would Barbara let Cooper have their daughter with him so she'd be safer in the vault? And also, Cooper not know where his daughter is, even though he was the one with her when the bombs dropped. That's what I want to know. Just because it was planned doesn't mean it, the plan went according to plan, which is 100% correct, right? Obviously, the, the alimony comment, they divorced because he probably knew about all of the shit. But where did where is she at? Vault Tech not being the ones that dropped the first ones, suggested it, blah, blah, blah. Daughter on a horse, he's obviously going to be headed to his ex-wife. And she is the only chance of survival. Yeah, maybe there's a heartbreaking scene where he does have to say goodbye to his daughter and, like, giving him over to his wife, and he doesn't know where they end up going. Like, she doesn't want to tell him. And because of the divorce, like, now he's no longer invited to the vault. And even though he's the poster boy of, he's the vault boy, he's the one left out, which is fucked. That was my number one question, I imagine. Obviously, my favorite episode is the finale. Favorite character is the ghoul. Uh, too many funny scenes to recollect on to try to pinpoint anything. Least favorite character. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Maybe Thaddeus or the chicken fucker, like just because. But I like those weird side NPC characters that were reoccurring. I like that Dog Meat made his appearance here, and I like that he's with the ghoul because he used to have Roosevelt. Uh, I think it's a beautiful twist that I wasn't able to actually predict. It's a double turn at the end. Like we've been expecting well, Dave to be like the big bad this entire time and to free her dad. And then it just doesn't go according to plan. Like he's bad. She's good. And now there's this unlimited power source and the vault tech and the Hank and the autograph and all. Do you want another autograph? Come on, bro. A lot of fire moments there in the wrap up. And I think that's, this is a good example of, not every episode of the show has to be a banger, even though six, seven out of ten of, or seven out of eight, six out of eight of them were fantastic. But like the wrap up and how you tell the full story at the end, it's almost kind of like Marvel's What If series. No spoilers for it, but if you watch all the episodes and don't watch the finale, you're like, meh. But you watch the finale and it's like, fuck yeah. There's just levels to it. And I think they, they play to their strengths and to their levels very, very well. Again, very little knowledge about Fallout, right? I know the base lore. I know the nukes. I know the songs. I know the Vault Boy, the Pit Boy. Um, I never beat Fallout 4. I know about Super Mutants, and I know about Death Claws. And I cannot wait for Death Claws to be in Season 2. And honestly, I'm excited for Season 2. We probably won't get to like 2026, 2027, because... They make shows shorter and they take longer to come out. Uh, granted, the production value is a lot higher, but still, a six one way, half dozen the other. Uh, there's a lot of good side characters that uh, we haven't seen since the beginning that maybe weren't relevant that I'm trying to think of, but I can't. We we leave her little brother in a weird spot at Vault 31, held back by the little robot. We don't get to see people situate in Vault 32 or in Vault 33. We don't get to see anything with Betty, who was the former Vault Tech person. It's just cool that it makes this company just pure evil, right? Uh, this makes me want to play the Fallout games, but I have too many other things to do, so I may come back around to it. Uh, I would love to play New Vegas, because at one point I, I was 100% against it because I had heard that it was awful, and then now everybody says they love it, kind of like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. But like, I would love to play New Vegas because I hear it's one of the best ones. I know a lot of people didn't really care for Fallout 4 for some reason. I really loved it. I know people think Fallout 3 is kind of like the peak or the New Vegas. But I wouldn't mind giving them a shot because, again, I love Fallout Shelter. That was my that was my shit for a couple years, and I got back into it, uh, I think, earlier this year and played it for like a month or two straight. And it was just, it's a game to get invested in. Drop like 10 bucks, get a bunch of little bottles, Nuka-Cola's. And then go about your business. No, Nuka Cola Quantum, I don't think, in this. I can't remember. I think there was actually, because I, sh I showed off my bottle, which is now in another room from, from moving and everything. But um, yeah, man, it's just, it's just, it's just good stuff all the way around. I remember when Fallout 4 came out and going to get those bottles, like I told in the first episode. But uh, it also had the, and I also didn't play this game, even though my buddy, you can't wait, is he even down here? He's not. My buddy got me the Geralt the Rivia statue, which is up above my 19 inches of venom. 
for Fallout 4 came out the same year as The Witcher 3. That's rough because I felt like Fallout 4 was going to be an auto lock for game of the year. It wasn't Witcher 3 cleaned house, but still. Um. So, yeah. I know, again, apologies. It took a long time to get back around to be able to watch this. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad it's done. Now I got a lot of editing to do. We'll get it up. We'll get it loaded. We'll get the thumbnails made. We'll get them all posted. Uh, I still have to finish up Invincible. The Boys is finished. Star Wars is finished. Uh, the Acolyte. And then I can get another list of sideshows and shows we can try to crack out while we watch Legacies. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to wrap it up. Episodes 1 through 8 of Fallout are all available to you guys over on Patreon if you choose to support that way. If not, everything is here for free. And on that note, thanks for hanging out for Fallout. I'll see you for Season 2 at some point. Links and everything, description box down below. Playlist be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.